15 strange prohibitions and strange things in Taiwan that you won't believe exist. We acknowledge that Taiwan is a very interesting place in Asia, but those who come here for the first time will be utterly perplexed because this country has some incredibly peculiar regulations. Prohibition on giving watches, prohibition on patting shoulders, prohibition on overeating, prohibition on drinking orange juice, you will certainly be shocked by the 15 prohibitions and strange practices existing in Taiwan. Number 15. Prohibition on patting shoulders. Perhaps for you, patting someone's shoulder is a completely normal action, but if you come to Taiwan, don't dare to do this. Especially at night, the locals believe that patting shoulders will release their strength and vitality completely. Patting shoulders is also considered an act that brings bad luck, especially if it happens on the first day of the Lunar New Year. It could bring a whole year of bad luck, making business difficult and encountering many unfortunate events. Moreover, when in Taiwan, you should never whistle at night. According to Taiwanese beliefs, whistling at night is considered a sound that invites evil spirits into the house, causing disasters for the family, enveloping the house with negative energy, leading to illness and difficulty in business. Some even believe that the sound of whistling can attract snakes, so if you whistle at night, it's like calling snakes into the house, and you won't know which venomous snake might rush in and cause a catastrophe for the family. Venomous snake bites can be fatal, therefore don't be foolish to whistle at night, it will only bring disaster to your family. The whistle at night is the call of evil spirits. In folklore, whistling is also the signal for many thieves to call each other. Therefore, the whistle at night does not bring luck, but only brings chilling sounds and disaster. So be careful with your mouth and hands at night. Taiwanese people are superstitious, and they will be extremely angry if you violate these customs. Number 14. Prohibition on giving watches. If you intend to give a gift to a Taiwanese friend, Remember never to think of watches, as this is absolutely prohibited. Because Taiwanese people believe that watches symbolize time, implying the approach of death. It may sound illogical, but that's their belief, so don't ever try to change their beliefs. People here don't value the price too much, but they often care more about the meaning of the gift. So if you want to give a gift to someone in Taiwan, you need to research thoroughly. Similarly, the word umbrella also has a similar sound to the word separate. Therefore, you should avoid giving an umbrella as a gift except in cases of rain. If you give this gift to your close friends, it may cause separation and distance in your friendship in the future. Besides watches, you also cannot give shoes to the elderly because giving shoes to the elderly implies shortening their lifespan. The word shoes in Taiwanese sounds similar to the word evil, so giving shoes to others except family members may lead to undesirable situations, such as sending them negative energy and having a bad influence on the relationship between the two parties. Scissors or sharp objects are also prohibited gifts. It's best to ask local vendors for advice. Number 13. Pole dancing at funerals. Death is often associated with separation and grief. Few can be happy before the death of relatives or friends, but what's crazy is that in Taiwan, you'll see them hiring scantily clad pole dancers to perform at the funeral. Hiring pole dancers in provocative outfits to perform at funerals is a popular trend among the wealthy elite in rural areas of Taiwan. The tradition of pole dancing at funerals began to appear in Taiwan in the 1980s, and since then, the strange way of organizing funerals has become increasingly popular. Young women aged 18 to 25 will wear provocative costumes, perform pole dances and strip in flashy lights and lively music. Many funerals will resemble more of a festival than a somber day for the family. Many believe that this performance will make the deceased rest in peace and be happy in the afterlife. Another reason why pole dances are popular at funerals is because Taiwanese people believe that the more people attend the funeral, the more reputation the deceased will have. The sexy pole dancers will be an attraction to everyone. Some other Taiwanese people do not support and vehemently oppose this practice because they believe that pole dancing and stripping are disrespectful to the deceased. However, local authorities cannot arrest or ban these performances because they do not violate the law. Number 12. Fear of the number 4. If you visit Taiwan, just pay a little attention and you will see that the number 4 is almost not used in the daily life of the people here. Taiwanese people avoid the number 4 because in their language, the pronunciation of the number four is very similar to the word death. Therefore, the number four is considered an unlucky symbol and brings a sense of misfortune, especially in situations related to health and life. 
This is clearly demonstrated in the restriction on the use of the number four in this country. People will avoid using the number four in cases such as room numbers in hotels, building numbers, or floor numbers in building. Instead, they will often use characters or a different number to avoid confusion and ensure that nothing unlucky occurs. Furthermore, the restriction on the use of the number four also affects many other areas in the daily life of the people, from architectural design to elevator operation. Many buildings and apartments are designed to avoid using the number four, instead opting for numbers starting with three or five. Elevators also often skip the number four and use other numbers to ensure that passengers do not feel anxious or unlucky when using the elevator. In summary, using the number four is something to avoid when visiting Taiwan. This affects many aspects of the daily life of the people and is considered an important part of the cultural identity of this nation. Number 11. Not finishing food. In many cultures, finishing all the food is a way to show gratitude for the host's hospitality, or simply because one does not want to waste food. However, if invited to a Taiwanese family, finishing all the food in the bowl or cleaning up all the food on the table means that the host has not prepared enough food, leaving the guests still hungry. In Taiwanese tradition, hosts often try to prepare more food than is actually needed, hoping that guests will feel full and satisfied. If guests finish all the food in the bowl or clean up all the food on the table, the host may worry that they have not prepared enough, which can make them feel embarrassed or ashamed. Therefore, in Taiwanese cultural tradition, to show gratitude and respect for the host, it is customary to eat enough but leave some food in the bowl or on the table is a good way to show sensitivity and not make the host worry about whether they have prepared enough food or not. Number 10. Prohibition on sticking chopsticks in rice bowls. Alright, you've probably gained some goodwill by eating a little less, but you might still make the host extremely uncomfortable by sticking chopsticks in the rice bowl. People here believe that this action symbolizes offering rice to the dead and is only done during funerals or memorial services for the deceased. Otherwise, this would be a disrespectful act and make people feel uncomfortable. Therefore, Taiwanese advise each other not to stick chopsticks in rice bowls, and if you want to leave the chopsticks, you should place them next to the bowl instead of sticking them in. After finishing the meal, it's appropriate to leave the chopsticks horizontally on the bowl, but you should wait for the eldest to stop using the chopsticks before doing so. When the eldest leaves the dining table, it's considered that the meal can be concluded. If you need to leave the dining table earlier, you should ask for permission from the eldest and then slowly leave. You should also pay attention to oral hygiene after the meal before continuing the conversation. Every region has its own unique cultural customs. As the saying goes, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. So if you participate in meals, banquets or parties with Taiwanese people, remember these points on how to behave appropriately. Number 9. Prohibition on drinking orange juice. Contrary to the advice to supplement vitamin C to boost immunity when having a cold from doctors in many places, Taiwanese people never drink orange juice when they are sick. They think this fruit is cold in nature, not good for illnesses, and may make the condition worse. Oranges are usually only used for decoration. In the culture of Taiwanese people, oranges, kumquats and mandarins are always on the list of lucky fruits. They love the color yellow, believing that these fruits will bring them happiness, prosperity, and luck in making money. Decorating with yellow fruits like oranges, kumquats, and mandarins is seen as a way to attract luck and fortune into the home. Families often place these fruits in important positions in the house, such as the ancestral altar or dining table, with the hope of bringing prosperity and happiness in the new year. Number 8. Prohibition on eating dog and cat meat. While neighboring countries like China, South Korea, and North Korea all consider dog meat as a delicacy, for Taiwanese people, killing and eating dog and cat meat is entirely prohibited. Since April 11, 2017, the Taiwanese government has passed a law prohibiting citizens and tourists from eating dog and cat meat, aiming to improve animal protection. Accordingly, consuming, trading, and owning dog and cat meat are all illegal acts. And offenders face fines ranging from $1,600 to $8,100. Additionally, the leading legislative body of Taiwan has also passed some amendments related to this regulation. Specifically, individuals who act cruelly towards animals will face a maximum prison sentence of two years and fines ranging from $1,600 to $65,000. 
The issuance of this regulation aims to improve animal protection after instances of cruel treatment of animals that caused outrage in the public opinion. Dog meat consumption used to appear in Taiwan decades ago. However, this phenomenon is no longer common on this island. Therefore, the issuance of the new law has been supported by the people. Currently, you can completely rest assured when bringing your pets to live on this island. Number 7. Prohibition on using Zoom. If you're working remotely using the Zoom app, it's best not to go to Taiwan because the Zoom app is banned in this country. Governments, companies, and millions of individuals worldwide, including Taiwan, have used Zoom to conduct remote meetings during the social distancing period of the COVID-19 pandemic. However, cybersecurity researchers have warned that security vulnerabilities in the Zoom software could allow hackers to eavesdrop on meetings or even access files. The latest security incident faced by Zoom has raised concerns among many agencies, including the Taiwanese government. According to the Taiwanese government, organizations that need to hold remote video conferences should not use insecure products like Zoom. Currently, large companies like Google and Microsoft offer free apps during the pandemic, which are more secure. Therefore, if you go to Taiwan, you should also switch from using Zoom to other verified safe apps. Number 6. Hello Kitty Obsession If you're a fan of Hello Kitty, then Taiwan is your paradise. From restaurants, hotels to airlines and even the top hospitals in Taiwan, they all have their own Hello Kitty-themed designs to serve the fans of this cute cat. At restaurants specializing in Taiwanese cuisine, the image of Hello Kitty is present everywhere. In addition to decorative images, the cute cat also appears in various dishes. Furthermore, maternity hospitals also decorate hospital beds, room walls, cribs for newborns. Even the attire of doctors and nurses follows the Hello Kitty style. Bed sheets, pillows, and blankets all feature the image of this adorable cat. For those who love Hello Kitty, experiencing services and products designed in her style is not only an opportunity to satisfy their passion, but also a fun and special experience they wouldn't want to miss. Perhaps this is one of the reasons why the number of tourists visiting this island is increasing. Number 5. Prohibition on Ghost Month Activities If you want to visit Hello Kitty in Taiwan, then I have advice for you don't go there in the seventh lunar month, as there are countless taboos that Taiwanese people want you to follow during that time. In Taiwan, people often refer to the seventh lunar month as the ghost month according to traditional beliefs. During this time, which runs from the 1st to the 28th day of the 7th lunar month, the gates of hell are said to open to allow hungry ghosts to return to the mortal world. During this period, Taiwanese people always observe various taboos to avoid encountering misfortunes and attracting negative energy or disturbances from spirits. One of the taboos during the 7th lunar month is to avoid taking photos at night or in poorly lit areas, especially children and the elderly, as they are considered vulnerable. If you don't want any special guests in your photos, it's best to avoid this. Also, it's not advisable to call out someone's name at night, especially in deserted and heavily atmospheric places. If ghosts remember the name of the person called, they might follow and linger around them. As a result, their lives might be filled with unlucky events caused by being haunted by ghosts. At night, it's best to avoid placing shoes towards the direction of the bed. Instead, you should place them in the opposite or away from the bed. Because depending on the direction the toe of the shoes points, the good brothers can guess if there's a living person on the bed. Then you might be disturbed or teased. Furthermore, if you hang a wind chime on the entrance door, balcony, or window and it produces a vibrating sound, it will be considered that the wind chime is inviting the spirits into the house, especially if it's made of brass, which is even more taboo. What do you think of this tradition in Taiwan? Number 4. Prohibition on writing others' names in red ink Using red ink to write someone's name is absolutely unacceptable in many cultures and it's also something to avoid when visiting Taiwan. Red is associated with blood and violence, which is why using red ink to write someone's name could be misunderstood as wishing for their early death. In addition to traditional beliefs, in modern life today, red ink is often used to correct mistakes in documents and therefore it carries the meaning of correction and modification. If you use red ink in other contexts, it may make the reader feel uncomfortable and feel that you don't respect them. Instead of using red ink, you can choose to use other bright colors like blue or yellow to write someone's name or to correct mistakes in documents. This not only helps avoid confusion with negative meanings, but also helps create a positive and professional working environment. Number 3. 
Prohibition on pointing finger at the moon. Pointing fingers to indicate something is a common human habit when wanting to exchange or explain something. But in Taiwan, pointing a finger at the moon is considered extremely disrespectful and may lead to unfortunate consequences, something to avoid when visiting Taiwan. According to the beliefs of Taiwanese people, the moon goddess is a revered and worshipped deity. Pointing a finger at the moon not only offends the moon goddess but can also anger her, resulting in punishment for those who commit such an act. The consequence of offending the moon goddess could be having one's ears cut off, making one's face resemble a crescent moon. It may sound utterly illogical, but no matter what, don't try to argue with locals because they will never listen to your explanations for them. Spiritual beliefs are held higher than science. Number 2. Prohibition on opening umbrellas indoors. If you want to encounter spirits in Taiwan, there's a very easy way to open an umbrella indoors and you'll see a ghost by your side. According to Taiwanese beliefs, there is a spirit residing in every umbrella. Typically, these are wandering ghosts who have nowhere to return to, so they choose umbrellas, even indoors, as their residence. Therefore, if you open an umbrella indoors, it's like inviting ghosts into your home. As a result, you or your house may encounter misfortunes if you open an umbrella indoors. Similarly, avoiding wearing hats indoors is also considered taboo. According to folk beliefs, wearing hats indoors during childhood will result in stunted growth. Therefore, grandparents and parents often don't allow children to wear hats indoors. Additionally, traditionally, hats are worn to shield from the sun when outdoors. So when indoors, if you're still wearing a hat, many people will feel uncomfortable, thinking you don't respect them. And of course, there's no scientific evidence to prove the validity of the belief that opening umbrellas indoors harbors bad luck. Nevertheless, many people today decide not to believe in this ancient belief. However, most still adhere to it in a blindly traditional way. Number 1. Free Wisconsin Fire Everywhere Setting aside the troublesome prohibitions mentioned earlier, let's talk about something special that satisfies everyone in Taiwan, the widespread provision of free Wi-Fi. Taiwan has become one of the first countries in the world to provide free Wi-Fi to most of its citizens, and now this extends to all foreign tourists. The government's iTaiwan wireless network was officially launched in 2011. As of now, there are 4,400 hotspots concentrated at tourist destinations, transportation hubs, cultural facilities, and government offices on this island nation. Taiwanese citizens only need a local phone number to register and can use semi-fast services. For foreign tourists who often encounter SIM card issues, starting this month using Wi-Fi will follow an easier process. Tourists can visit the Taiwan Tourism Bureau, present their passports to open an iTaiwan account, and then use their accounts to access Wi-Fi on mobile devices. In fact, many countries around the world still charge tourists for using Wi-Fi, whether in hotels, restaurants, or public places. Therefore, allowing tourists to use Wi-Fi for free when they visit Taiwan is a tremendously positive point. And those are the 15 prohibitions and oddities in Taiwan. Through these, we gain a deeper insight into the culture and customs of this country. This serves as a reminder that while each country has its own regulations, the world is always diverse and full of surprises. Let's continue to explore and learn more about this diverse culture. Thank you for watching. See you in the next videos.